In this tutorial, we're going to talk about references. References are extremely useful because they allow us to specify targets relative to something other than the world or the base of the robot. This means that they can be recalibrated in the real world without us needing to regenerate a trajectory or reprogram the robot. The simplest way to create a reference is through the Cell tab under Create Reference. It defaults to the world origin, but I want to use this point here on the corner of the box instead. I'm going to bring that into Grasshopper and assign it as the origin of an XY plane. We can now see that a reference has been created because this frame is here with small dots at the end of each axis. We can also see that it's labelled custom reference. To be able to refine our references later, it's highly advisable to name them appropriately. Now that we have a reference, we can use it in two slightly different ways. I'm going to demonstrate both of these using the target from curve component. I'm going to start by setting the curve to be that on top of the box. We can see that the targets haven't moved, but if we look at the target properties, we can see that the reference is box corner for all of our targets. If, however, now we move our reference, nothing's going to happen. That's because is absolute here is set to true. That is to say, the references in the world, the targets are in the world, and therefore we don't need to move anything. Everything is absolute. In the case of this curve down on the floor, however, we've modeled that relative to the origin. And because we've re modeled that relative to the origin, its position is not absolute. Its position is relative. By changing is absolute to false, we can see that the targets now jump up on top of the box to maintain the same transformation between the world origin as they now have with the reference plane. When I move the reference around now, those targets follow. There is one other way to create a reference in the HAL Robotics framework, and that's by creating a part, which is really just a reference with some extra geometry. I'm going to use the box itself as the geometry for my part, and I'm going to retain that same frame from before. Now that I have that, I'm going to hide the geometry both in Rhino and the original geometry in Grasshopper. Now that that part's set, I can use it in exactly the same way as my reference. Just knowing now that there's some geometry associated, which can be visualized if I ever want to put it on a positioner, later.